Hello friends, let's discuss some multiple choice questions from the topic three phase system. Here uh, for this session mainly we will be discussing about uh, the questions from two watt meter method and the basic star delta three phase connections and the related impedance formulas, impedance triangle etc. Anyway two watt meter method you will have uh, one equation to remember that is tan phi where phi is the angular separation of voltage and current is equal to root 3 times w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2 that is w1 is the highest reading among the two watt meters and w2 is the lowest reading among the two watt meters so this you need to buy heart and again w1 plus w2 will give you the active power what is active power in a three phase system it is root 3 vl il cos phi so the addition of the readings from both uh, two watt meters will give you the active power and the difference w1 minus w2 will give you vl il sin phi remember there is no root 3 coming up in this set okay so keeping these equations in mind let's try to do the questions Okay, let's discuss question number 81 to 85 in this video. Question number 81. The power input of a 2 kilovolt 50 hertz 3 phase motor running on full load at an efficiency of 90 hertz is measured by 2 watt meters which indicate 300 kilowatts and 100 kilowatts respectively. Find the power factor. So, uh, two readings are given. Let us put... The highest reading as W1 and least as uh, W2. So, putting on this equation. We have to find the power factor. And what is power factor? It is cos phi. So, before you get uh, cos phi, let us find out what is the value for tan phi. Okay. So, substituting the W1, W2 value. So, here we get W root 3 times 300 minus 100. So, 300 minus 100 divided by 300 plus 100. So, it comes about 200 divided by 400, isn't it? So, it is root 3 by 2. Okay. So, tan phi is root 3 by 2. Now, we have to get the value for cos phi. How to get that? Let's draw the basic right triangle. And let's mark here as phi. So tan phi means it is opposite side divided by adjacent side. So opposite side, let us mark root 3. And adjacent side of this uh, phi, angle phi is 2. Okay. So from this right triangle, we will get the value of this hypotenuse. What is that? Root of root 3 the whole square plus 2 square. Isn't it? Simple Pythagoras. You get it as root of. 3 plus 4 that is root 7. Root 7 is the hypotenuse unit. The length. Okay. Now what is the cos phi from this simple right triangle? It is the adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. So it is 2 by root 7. Now let's check the options. Option A is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 means it is 1 by 2. So option A is not the right one. Option B is 0 0.756. Uh, let us keep it as pending. Now, option C is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is 1 by 5. So, option C can also be eliminated. And option D is 0 0.866. That decimal point, decimal value is very much familiar. That is root 3 by 2 is 0 0.866. So, it is not our uh, fraction is 2 by root 7. So, option D also can be eliminated. Thus, option B is your right answer. Okay, you can um, verify here. Answers are given at the bottom. Now, moving on to the next question. Question number 82. A three-phase, four-wire, 100-volt line-to-line system uh, supplies a balanced star-connected load having impedance 10 angle negative 30 degree in each phase. How much current is flowing through the net neutral? 
here it is given the three phase system is supplying a balanced load so definitely the sub the supplying part will also be balanced in nature so there will be no current flowing through the uh, neutral so option c is your right answer since it is a balanced one now question number 83 three similar inductive coils are connected in star see inductive coils is connected in star to a three phase four wire 415 volt 50 hertz supply the line current is 4 ampere at a power factor of 0.6 laggy the coil resistance is how much ohms now whatever values are given in the question it will be in the line uh, system that is line voltage here 415 volt indicates the line value of the voltage so it is VL is equal to 415 volts and for current it is directly given it is line current so IEL is equal to 4 ampere power factor cos phi is 0.6 lagging uh, lagging means we are having inductive coil okay uh, the uh, coil resistance we have to get the resistance value fine now how to get the resistance value so for that we have to get the impedance per phase okay because our uh, this system contains inductance also and the question is about resistance so the combination uh, will be the impedance so Im let us find out the impedance first z phase is equal to v phase by i phase see make a note that there is nothing like z line this such kind of uh, representation is never there in three phase system we just have the z phase okay impedance per phase so that will be definitely equal to phase value of voltage divided by phase value of current now since it is a star connected one we can write V phase is equal to VL by root 3. Okay. Uh, since if it is a star connection, then V phase is equal to VL by root 3 and I phase is equal to IL. If it is a delta connection, then V phase is equal to VL, but I phase is equal to IL divided by root 3. This is also two points which you have to make a note while you study three phase system. Okay. So, substituting the V phase value, it is VL by root 3. That is 415. The VL value divided by root 3. And what is I phase? I phase is equal to IL which is 4. Okay. So this is the Z phase value. We have to get the coil resistance. So let us draw the impedance triangle now. If for the impedance triangle, the base will be the resistance value. And this will be the inductance value. And this is the Z value. And this is available for now Z phase. What is that this one? Okay. And R is the value we have to find out. Now, what is the angular separation? This angular separation is phi. And cos phi values directly given. So, from this triangle, it is easy to get that R is equal to Z cos phi. R is equal to Z cos phi. Isn't it? So, R is equal to what is the set value? Set value is 415 divided by root 3 times 4 into cos phi. Cos phi value is 0 0.6. Let us write this 0 0.6 as 6 by 10. 6 by 10. So solving it is 4 and 6. 2, 3. Now again root 3 is here. So when I cut this and this root 3 will be there. So it is. 415 divided by 10 is 41.5 into root 3 by 2 or 41.5 into root 3 by 2 is 0 0.866 okay now before completing this numerical let's just have a look at the options option a is 48 so but here it is 41.5 into 0 0.866 is definitely less than the value will be less than 41.5 because this 0.86 is less than number 1 isn't it so the value you get is lesser than 41.5 so option a can be neglected and option b it is a huge value also we can eliminate this and this is also huge value and 36 is something less than 41.5 so option d is your right answer 83 is option d 
Moving on to question number 84. The second last question for the video. A three-phase 20 kVA load is having 0.8 lagging power factor, the true power of the circuit. Okay, true power means root 3 VL IL cos 5. So, this is in kVA unit and when you multiply the power factor also, the complete becomes uh, the active power which is in kilowatts. Okay, so kVA rating is given as 20 kVA and cos 5 value is given as 0.8. So, what is that? 20 into 8. 20 into 0.8 is 16. So, 16. Now, the unit gets changed to kilowatts. Okay. So, option A is the right answer. That's a simple one. And last question for the session. What is that? A three identical impedance are connected in delta to a three-phase supply of 400 volts. The line current is 34.65. And the total power is also given. Resistance uh, of the load in each phase. Here also in this question uh, they have mentioned about the impedance. And resistance value needs to be found out. So definitely there is uh, a presence of uh, inductance there or a capacitance there. Anyway let us see uh, the set value for this question. Anyway it is a delta connection and 400 volt means it is the line voltage 400 volt and i l line current is 34.65 ampere total power total power means root 3 v l i l cos 5 this is the true power or total power check for the unit then you will be uh, you will not get confused whether it is active power or reactive power anything yes so that is 14.4 kilowatts 14.4 kilowatts the resistance of the load in each phase. Fine. So on substituting, I get root 3 v, uh, VL values 400. 400, 34.65 cos 5 equal to 14.4 kilowatts. And before getting this resistance, let's find out what is set phase. Set phase is V phase by I phase. And V phase for a delta connection, V phase is equal to VL. V phase is 400 itself divided by I phase. I phase is IL by root 3. That is 34.65 divided by root 3 becomes in the numerator. So, this is your set phase value. And we know that R phase is set phase cos phi. So, cos phi I can get the cos phi result. Uh, by simple uh, taking something to right side that is 14 before that let me write set phase set phase value is 400 root 3 by 34.65 cos 5 from this big length equation that is 14.4 and kilo kilo becomes into 1000 divided by everything near to this cos 5 comes in the denominator root 3 and 400 then 34.65 finished so 400 root 3 400 root 3 now the value here the numerator is left with 14.4 into 1000 means divided by 34.65 whole square now so that is 34.65 square means what is 34 square 34 square is 4 3 12 9 plus 1 10 so 6 5 1 1 5 6 is uh, 34 square but we need something a little bit higher value than 1 1 1 5 6 so let me round it as 1200 Okay, the nearest uh, value is uh, 1200. Now, the, when I cut this two zeros, I am left with 144 by 12, which is 12. So, 12, what is the unit? This resistance. So, 12 ohms is the answer. 85 option C. Okay.
ओके विल गेट बैक विद अनदर वीडियो दैट वी विल डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी सिक्स टू नाइन थैंक यू